hello viewers you welcome back to my youtube channel if you are a returning viewer don't forget to like share and leave a comment and if today's your first time about crossing my youtube channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button without wasting much time i'll be designing a 3d glass effect image using this piezo lab tool and um what we're going to do i'm going to set the the font the image font to youtube thumbnail that is the size i'm going to set it to youtube thumbnail instead of custom so this is youtube thumbnail size and i'm going to delete the, the test first after deleting the first then i will type in the test i would want to use so assuming i'm you i'm going to design a glass effect so i'm writing a glass now this is a glass i will ink make it bold centralize this increase the size maybe let's assume let me take it to 175 the size should be 175 and centralize it again then i'm going to choose a font i want to choose a font for this image um, let me get the font i'll be using for this Fonts I would want to use. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me guess. I'll be using this font here. So, this is the fonts I will be using, and that is it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to log this to my screen and import the shape i would want to use so i'll import the shape and this is the shape we'll be using for the design so you change i did the shape and um change the color to gradient color so you use this gradient color this particular one here you use this gradient color then the opacity you reduce the opacity let's assume i'm going to reduce this opacity but before reducing the opacity um you you click on the plus the plus sign there and um you reduce this color for this you reduce the color here press ok and also for the side you reduce the color to white transparent and press ok and that is it so what we're going to do next is um we're going to reduce the opacity for this let's take this opacity to be 50 50 will be okay yes and reduce the size maybe reduce the size a bit Yes, this is good now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log this to and come back to the test to the test and um, I'm going to turn this to 3d I'm going to turn this test to 3d as you can see come back to the the, test, the size and increase the size a bit now this is it this is what we want so you press ok and um, centralize it again and come back to the the object which is the shape and um, centralize the shape also try to position it very well position it very well good i guess this is really really good to go then, um let's increase the size a bit more um reduce it again take it down and we're good to go i guess this is okay for now and uh, 
lock it so I'm going to change the color of this test this test let me use a um, blue color for this I'm gonna use a blue color for this this is a blue color this one will go very well so I'll be using this blue color and um, this blue is okay so what next I'm going to reduce the opacity of this the opacity here I'm gonna reduce the opacity a bit take it to 90 or 95 whichever way fits for you I'm going to leave mine here 90 is okay for me and um, come to the shadow now give it a shadow no not the object sorry I'm going to give the test a shadow so come to the test and give it a shadow and here's the shadow so the blur reduce I'll make the blur reduce to be five five will be, will be enough here yeah, it's okay then the opacity is okay also and um, enable external glow as you can see wow this is good I guess this is good this is perfect this is what we want and we change the what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change the color of the background let's assume my background color is gonna be white I'm gonna change the background color to be white and this is it this is it good so I'm gonna type something like this I'm gonna type effect on test so this is gonna be effect effect on test effect on test and I'll press down this is good centralize it again position it beneath the test and um, maybe reduce the size a bit to maybe 20 18 with 18 being uh, okay okay let's assume 19 is okay and I'm going to make it bold you make it bold and you spread it you can see spacing so we try to space this space it to 50 um, let me see 60 75 will be okay good and after that centralize it again and this is good this is good um, the test working it a bit this is okay um there's an icon i'll be importing i'll import the icon put from gallery i'll be importing the icon so the icon will be this i'll be using this icon and um maybe do the icon here I'll remove the background for this okay before but before then let me erase it so I'm gonna bring this out and put it here 
and um, Gezi is good. This position is good for it, right? So I'm going to position this very well. Position this very well. Yeah, I guess this is good to go. Then I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna tap Piso Lab tutorial on this. I'm gonna tap Piso Lab tutorial on this. Piso Lab. Piso Lab. Centralize this also and reduce the size. So maybe 18. Centralize it and position it very well. Maybe make it bold. And slanted, you can see it very well. I guess this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good already. So what I'm gonna do is um, I just wanna make it look more spicy. I'm just gonna spice it up. So I'm gonna put an image here. Post a few images which I want to use. The import few images which I want to use. So I guess um, there's an image here I'm looking for. This is good to go. So I'll be using this image for the design. And I'm going to bring it down here, as you can see. Reposition this very well. So I'm going to position this here. Good to go, and um, maybe, um, yeah, that was all for now. Okay, one more thing, one more thing. Image and um, try 
try to erase images. It. So there's still one more thing that we want to add. So this is how you design a 3D or you design a glass effect test image using the Piezo Lab app. For the returning viewers, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Also, This is it. So we are done. The video is done. That's all. How you can design this. This is just change the color. And we pick blue. And this is the video. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. So what I'm going to do now just to save this to my save as image, and um, this is going to be PNG to be Ultra. Save it as Ultra. Save to gallery, and that's all. So thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and also leave a comment. Thank you, and. Um, be expecting you for the next video which i'll be designing so thank you